those are hallmarks of our Christian faith, isn't it? Praying, fasting. You know, uh, it just makes you wonder, did they pray? Were they, were they seeking uh, the Lord? Were they speaking the way that they should have spoke? But this kind comes forth by prayer and fasting. So, um, you know, the Lord deals with the root of the problem. The root is unbelief. That's where the root is. Prayer and fasting can help unbelief. It can be one of the tools that God gives to help us counteract unbelief. Now, I just want to read, we're going to, uh, in the last few minutes, I want you to turn to Matthew chapter 6, verse 30. We're going to skip through several verses here. I wanted to show you something. Jesus rebuked them for their unbelief, which he'd done many times. Matthew 6, verse 30. He says, Wherefore, if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is, and tomorrow is cast into the oven, shall not much more he clothe you, O ye of little faith. Here's another heavenly rebuke. This time it's in the area of divine providence. Remember, seek ye first the kingdom of God. will supply what you, have, what you have need of. His providence. Believe God. He says, O ye of little faith. If God takes care of birds, will He take care of you? Yes? If God clothes the, clothes the grass, will He clothe you? Yes. Chapter 14, verse 31. This is where G, uh, Peter came come out on the water and then he began to sink. Verse 31, And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O you of little faith, where did you doubt? Here, this is divine protection. Peter began to fear because he was sinking in the middle of a storm out in the Sea of Galilee. He was afraid. Jesus answers it. Where was your faith? I'll protect you. Divine protection. Look at chapter uh, 16 of Matthew. Look at verse, start at verse 6. Take heed and beware of eleven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees. And they reasoned among themselves, saying, It is because we have taken no bread. Which, when Jesus perceived it, he said unto them, O ye of little faith. <laughs> He uses that word a lot with the disciples, doesn't he? Why reason you among yourselves? Because you brought no bread. Um, let's see, I want to go through verse. Let's see. Did you not understand either remember the five loaves of the 5,000 and how many baskets you took up? Neither the seven loaves of the 4,000 and how many baskets you took up? How is it that you not understand that I spake it not to you concerning bread, that you should beware of eleven of the Pharisees and of the Sadducees? Then he then understood how that he talked to them not to beware of the leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. So here, they, they doubted the divine power, the power of God. Remember, we read this story last week in another gospel. Here's a lad with five loaves and two fishes. Well, what is that among so many? Another one said, hey, we, have, we can go and buy uh, 200 penny worth of bread. But that's not going to be enough. They doubted the divine power of God. Because Jesus said to them, you give them something to eat. Lord, if, if you give me a million dollars, I'll give them something to eat. If you only believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Um, Mark, Mark chapter 9. That's the verse I just kind of, that we just went over. How long, verse 19, faith is generation. How long shall I be with you? How, shall, how long shall I suffer you? And then he said, bring him to me. That there is a doubting to do 
uh, the works of God. They, they were un in unbelief in doing what Jesus taught them and commanded them to do. So that's d doubting uh, the divine ability to do works, to, to do the works of Christ. All right, Mark 11. Next couple chapters over. Mark 11, verse 21. And Peter, calling to remembrance, verse, uh, chapter 11, verse 21, Peter, calling to remembrance, he said unto him, Master, behold the fig tree which you cursed and is withered away. And Jesus said unto him, Have faith in God. They were amazed that it had withered away. So Jesus says, Have faith in God. That's about, you know, that was a miracle, what Jesus had done. And Mark 16 Let's look at Mark 16. Let's look at verse 16, verse 12. I mean, uh, let's see. Let's start at verse 9. Now when Jesus was risen the early, the first day of the week, he appeared first to Mary Magdalene, out of whom he had cast seven devils. And she went and told them that he had been with him as they mourned and wept. And they, when they had heard that he was not alive and had, uh, and had been seen of her, they believed not. After that, he appeared to them in another form unto two of them as they walked and went into the country. And they went and told it unto the residue, or the remainder, 